Hello everyone, my name is Flebliss here and welcome to the Yummy Nikki fan game called Yummy Tuki. Now before I begin this, this is not a completed translation of the game itself. This is a version 0.101 version of the game and it is the only version of the game that is available in partial English. So the idea of this is going to be is to play through as much as we can and then hopefully once the translation is complete at a date we will go back and finish it but unlike yami nikki and dot flow which is going to be on the, which is so which the ending of dot flow is going to be uploaded on the same day as this part one unlike yami nikki and dot flow this game is massive so massive in fact that i've got suggestions that we may get lost at most points within the game so i'm just gonna go through this completely blind and, and hopefully discover as much as i can although people say that you can't get lost really easily and well as the point of a game to explore its unknown factors but without further ado folks let us begin the game i really enjoyed playing yummy nikki and dot flow probably dot flow even more because of its whole factors about the game yummy two keys are work in progress but many events are not implemented the games worlds may not feel visually connected because there are several developers please note that this has no connection to either kakiyama or yummy nikki the original this is a fan game regarding development we're not going to skip over this. This is going to be completely within the video. Yummy 2 Key is only a hobby to many developers. Because of this, it is not a, pro a first priority for many of them. Okie dokie. If you have events or ideas, map changes or requests, then please join the t -t 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 team, which will be in the description as well. Your contributions can help speed up the game's development. I'm looking forward to it. As long as you have a PC, you can help develop. Programmers can easily program their own worlds. I know next to nothing about programming. All I know is that I envy anyone who has a profession in programming. Programmers, artists, and musicians wanted for the game. Press any key to continue. Where's the any key? Okay, <laughs> just press any one of the keys on the keyboard to escape. Except the power button if your keyboard has a power button. Especially when one hits recording. Or something like that. Okay, game flow. Room, bed, Dreaming, wake up, repeat, move arrow keys, confirm, wake up. Good, save a computer in your room, press and hold, confirm key to use effects. I love the sound effects. About effects, effects are found while, oh sorry, effects are found while dreaming. Press and hold shift is to unequipped effect, press and hold, confirm key to use effects. So, this character is called Yuotsuki. I, I can't pronounce names like this. I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is go. Oh, that um, actually makes. Oh, yeah, so Yummy Nikki it makes you go to sleep because when I was playing Yummy Tuki. No, Dot Flower, I mean. The PC was the thing that allowed me to uh, go into the dream. So how do we go into the Nexus? That's our first instruction, our first protocol. What's that hanging up in there? Hmm. Also, unlike Dot Flow, this is run in RPG Maker 2000 rather than 2003. So I go up. Oh, this is the door to the Nexus. Is it? Yep, this is the door to the Nexus. Wow. I've got to shut my phone off. It keeps making noises. Um. Oh. I was expecting it to be from Facebook, not Twitter. Uh, stop vibrating. Thank you very much. Okay, with that said, so how many. Oh, whoa. There are so many opened. Oh my god, we're going to be here forever. Oh wait, this is an endless loop. So, um, right. So, if I'm correct in saying, um, no, these are all different. That's a different set entirely. 
Uh, door. Are we back in the room? No, we're somewhere else now. <laughs> this is a complete blind guess. Oh, so it might be a world in which looks like ours, which we originally started in, but it actually isn't. Maybe it's another door that leads to a similar realm, which gives us surprises. And to be honest, I'm going in this completely blind. So don't expect anything hugely catastrophic. We may not even find an effect in this episode. I hope we do, though. Otherwise, it would just seem a bit pointless. Well, not entirely pointless. The exploration is part of the journey. If you don't value the exploration... Hello, somebody there. Now, unlike Dot Flow, this isn't horror, but I still like Yummy Nicky games regardless. Right. Why is this one? Oh, why are these two different? Uh, are any of these got any significance at all? Hmm. It just seems to be a room full of these things. I don't know what to call them. Hmm. I am so, so super lost. So, so super lost. Matazuki is the only one I can pronounce. One, the protagonists from Dot Flow in this game are not ones that I can pronounce properly at all. It's like you're giving me such complex names to pronounce. That's obviously probably part of the mystery behind the game as well, is the complexity-ness of their name. I think I just made up the word there, but I hope you know what I'm trying to talk about. So there's that. And none of these doors operational. Well, hi there. Nothing. Oh, we're in the game. These look like game pads. I wonder what happened to you. Anything you can provide for me? Nope, no effect item. Okay, so there was nothing that way. Nothing to do with those curtains. Nothing to do with that. Oh. This does have some bizarre features, and we're made now. Um, can we be something else? Can we be this? Ah, we can be a smart lass now. Hmm. Like all other Yummy Nikki translation games and Yummy Nikki itself, it doesn't have a story perpetrated by the developers for people to find out. You make the story up as you go along by seeing the world in which the protagonist is seen through their dreams. Hmm. Yeah, no wonder they said that you can get lost in this game. Um, I'm not going to try and cheat and look up a walkthrough for this game just yet. And also try and find the best item for traveling even faster around rather than just simply walking. But this is really nice. What uniform should I stick with? Um, you know what, I'll stick with this one actually. This one looks pretty cool. So what we've got here is a bit of a maze to go through. But does one of these hold an effect item, I wonder? Huh. Any of you special? Any of you sort of dark probes special at any point? I love all these different costumes you can be. This has, definitely has a lot more interaction than Yummy Nikki or Dot. Low. Not saying that those are bad games at all, but 
If you have, if you provide your players with a, a, a huge amount of interactions, then it keeps them enticed with the game for much longer rather than just simply exploring around and hoping out for the best. Okay, so there's a picture up here with a tree with a dot in the middle. So you're trying to interpret it to me that I need to dress in a particular fashion to, in order to fulfill your desires. Or am I just... Oh, that's a number four on it. Oh, maybe let's just have a f the shirt is supposed to be there. Um, hi. What are you going to do? You don't want me to go in there. Hey. What is it that you want? Hmm, I've got a different hairstyle now, but I think this thing's going to tell me to go away again. What? Maybe I've got to be a certain costume in order to gain access. Hmm. Let's try looking at some of the others and see what we can find. So this one's open. They all have one costume in common when it comes to a central costume. Maybe I've got to find one for that. Well, what about this one? certainly does look unique but all these sort of drones could to be here for some reason unless they're not drones they're actual uh, organisms of sorts but we can only tell in due course has one of you got secrets hmm. I wish I had a broom or a bicycle I think in this game it is a bicycle like Yummy Nicky. On Dot Flow it was a broom, a witch's broom. Right, so is there one like that in which I can use? Have I got to interact with this somehow? All mysteries. Particular costume costume fits with a particular character. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's got something blue on its head. Then again, that's also got something blue on its head, but it's a circular shape. I'm just trying to think of this too thoroughly and they're all just the same thing. Maybe it wasn't supposed to change costumes at all. <laughs> Maybe that's a possibility. Oh. Let's just get out of here. I 
I'll take you with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happens if I try and go into the curtain without changing my costume? Will that have a profound effect upon me? If this theory isn't correct, well... Oh, it is correct! You go in without changing your costume. Ah. So there needs to be something there. But I haven't got an item of sorts. Ah, there's something over here. Or nothing. I love a good mystery. Okay, so there's a door up ahead. Hmm. Where have we ventured up to, I wonder? Is there an effect over here at some point? I need to do a crochet or sewing. Not entirely sure of the specific name of the arts of this sort of sewing. What an enchanting world. I hope I can meet someone or something. Okay, let's try not to go into that spike. If it's actually possible to go in the spike, but let's not. If for our, let's not for our sakes. Hmm. There's got to be an effect here in this world, in this dimension. There's got to be something to commend on our efforts to get this far so far. Yearn wheels aren't helping me much. The same things keep happening. But it's also true that whatever world that we go in has to do with a past event that the character has witnessed within their lifetime. So it could be positive effects, it could be negative ones. Okay, those needles are red. Red hot, or is it just red? Now we seem to have floating objects. What of it? Unless we need an item of source to take them down. Or maybe they are just being suspended by an invisible pole. Lots of works of art. Hmm. I feel like there should be something there. It is the edge though. Sink my teeth. Never good. Anything up here? Nope. Anything over this way? No. Oh, this one's moving. Nope, still nothing. Oh, there's got to be an effect of some sorts. I love these staircases. They're so good. Oh no, there's a door there. I wonder what it does. Oh, there's a lot of floating doors. I wonder one of these will take me somewhere. Take me to an item. Go. Oh, there's one there. Can I interact with you? something or have I just jinxed myself can I go back 
You're not. Oh. I'm not going to be very happy if this is somewhere which I've already been to. Okay, good. Goody good. I'm glad as I've been. Or maybe we are on the right track, but we didn't get to see all of the world. If that last little bit that I haven't explored holds an effect item, I am going to be so annoyed about that later on. And it took me a huge amount of time to make the dot flow all items all endings video. So as this game is going to be huge, I might make the video of that separated. So one of them does with all the items and the other video does with all of the endings. Because like dot flow, I've heard that this game also has multiple endings to it. Okay, so that's locked. But unlike traditional RPG Maker games, it doesn't tell you by a notification that it is indeed locked. That one's locked as well. Uh, the joys of locked doors. If a uh, well, this isn't exactly pleasant, is it? Who dare? Who dare do this? And why are we the victims here? Why is this poor protagonist a victim here? I think all these yummy Nikki protagonists have the same sort of personality. Um, do I go where you are or do I explore around? I'm glad these walls are here to limit where we need to go, but it could also be at the same time where there might be a hidden area. So we have absolutely no clues as to where we need to go. Where we need to explore. It's quite late for me during the day, so I can't really do a huge amount of um, effect item I effect item finding. But I hope that at some point I'll be able to do... Ah! We're in a different part of the world. So that's good. Or bad. I don't want to walk in the blood pools. But this is like a world in which we will get lost in. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lost so many times. Is this something? Usually it's something that's moving that we get an effect from. So maybe this isn't it? Golly. I wouldn't want to be the person who found um, everything the first, because that's probably the hardest. Something's there. I'm glad there's a little bit of horror in this. It's quite good. Yummy Nikki will always be the best of its kind, because it is the original. But you can make a better innovative game, but it just will not hold better to the original. No fan game would. Hmm, I've seen you before. Somewhere. Somewhere before I have seen you. And everything aside, I am going to meet you. What was that? I thought I heard something crawling. Crawling in my body. These wounds will not go into healing mode. Into healing mode. I love yum. When I actually first played Yummy Nikki, I had no idea about what would actually happen, so. About halfway through the game, I kind of didn't really get into it, but as soon as I realised about what the game is trying to tell you, then it actually makes sense in the sense that you are somebody, a player, that makes the story as you go along. It's all about the exploration of it all. If I don't find an item soon, I'm... You see, I've already, I've already seen that. But there's two of them here, so... Are these loop worlds, or is it just one massive giant room? And the only way out is to go back... Into that little gap where the blood was, and those two sort of... 
wormy figures are. Somebody's been here and killed these worms. I don't like it. It seems that someone has transferred us to a world game of worms. And this is just the after effect of what happens when you die in worms. Oh, it's just it's so nice to see objects on the floor so you get some sort of familiarity of where you are. Is there anything that might give us an item of sorts? Or is this game going to stick to its word and be a gigantic labyrinth? I think it's going to be a gigantic labyrinth. Can we, as people, know what to do here? It's currently near 10 o'clock at night. Give us another half an hour. And then if we don't find anything, we'll wake up and then feel disappointed about ourselves because we couldn't find anything. Whoa! I didn't see you there before. Um... Are we meant to do something? I'm pretty sure that one day we hopefully do get to see something. Whoa, there's an, there's an eye poking out of that body. I just realised that. Did your eye collapse to your torso? I'm just going to walk this way, and then from that I can determine how big this map is. But it's it's gigantic. See, that's a worm from earlier. Was it a different worm? I'm not quite too sure now, but it is definitely a worm. But it isn't vertically unlimited. It's just horizontally unlimited. So it loops round horizontally, but it doesn't loop round vertically. Which is good, in a way. Because it means that one way is infinite, but the other way is l -l limited. Ozuki, definitely. Oh, she's a sleepwalker. They're all sleepwalkers, in a way. So I wonder what other grand Yami Nikki games people like to talk about. Wait, is this different? This is gigantic. Uh, there are a few other games. There's one called y Yami Graffiti. Okay, so it is just a massive map, but it takes you about a minute to explore all of it by foot. Okay, so this is the bottom of the map, which we have not... No, this is... No, this is a part... Wait. Hold on. Okay, this is the middle of the map. But there's any passages to get to you. Because do you have an item source of which I can use? Hmm. I'm getting sudden vibrations in my ear. Okay, so this is another conglomerate. You could even call it Masma as well. It's both poisonous and prevent you from walking through because it acts like a wall oh my golly welcome to an hour of not finding anything getting lost and the main part of the video is me talking complaining and exploring <laughs> which i love i love actually i don't love complaining complaining is not cool wonder why there's a blood patch specifically there I assume too much. <laughs> That's the main problem. I assume too much in this game. I assume too much in any game, really. And when the developer says it's much simpler than you think of it, you're just thinking too much of it. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to, ex <laughs> I'm going to think about it very, very thoroughly, and then explain why my head has a massive headache. <laughs> Well, I ever met. Well, you're different from everything else. 
Ooh. Oh, this is like the industrial maze in Dot Flow and the other sort of places. Yeah, you know, remember it's in the red maze and yummy you know, I mean, Nick. Oh my gosh. There's so many avenues. Are you kidding me? And I got lost already. Unless one of these ends has something specific within it. Oh my golly. I'm just going to go blind and see where I end up. Although a theory does say that if you tag always to one particular direction of a maze, you won't get lost because you keep going around in circles. That's one theory of it. And then you just continuously aim right to get back to where you are. But you know what? We won't discover the maze that well if we do not explore absolutely everything. There's a large open gap here. Is I supposed to do something in this little gap here? Oh my god. I have not discovered a single item yet. Item yet. Oh, there's something over there. Let's try and get to that spot there. Maybe that holds a key to something. 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 I need a right turn at some point, and I'm not getting it. Here is a right turn. But would it connect back up to the bottom of the maze? I believe this maze is just gargantuan. Uh, please don't lead me to a dead end. We need to somehow now go back down and then left to find that purple obelisk. That's the only way I can describe what it is. It's a it's an obelisk. Okay, now this is Whoa, what the hell are you? Have you got enough not enough room to run around there, mate? <laughs> I'll leave you be and let you carry on with your day, thank you very much, sir. Okay, so let's walk this way and see what we can... F Actually, we'll walk up here, over here, up there, down. Yeah, there, 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 there. I wouldn't want to be the person to write up a walkthrough of this game, for goodness sakes. This is just... Oh, there we go! And now where are we? Somehow I should feel comfortable, but I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh, I am so lost. Damn you, Pinkaboo, for recommending me this game. First, I'm going to send you a letter of my utmost disregard. And then I'm going to rage into the microphone. And hopefully I'll just let off some of my anger from that. I'm glad that has a dead end. So do one of these have something... I've got to find an item soon. I'll feel so disheartened if I don't find an item. At any point. Hmm. There's so many colours in this world. I feel sorry for all your creatures' eyesight. Everything's so bright. I mean, I wouldn't mind if something has a bit of saturation to it. I'm no colour expert, but I do like a bit of a blend between dull and bright colours. Interesting to the eye, but at the same time does not completely mesmerise you of its effects. Hmm. The thing is with um, any of these Yamaniki games, it doesn't matter where you go into, you're going to find yourself an adventure. And get yourself lost within the process as well. But I, I am comp- Ooh. I want to get to over there. I want to get over there. Okay, welcome to another getting lost session with Flare Blist here. Will I be the first ever person to completely conquer Yummy 2 I doubt it. I bet somebody has already conquered this game. It's been out for a few years now. 
Um, I don't know how long it's been out in English. I can make a tune out of all this. Oh, we can look up and down. That's pretty neat. So I wonder if we need a companion of sorts to sit with. Hmm. Interesting. I may make that my fun now, actually. <laughs> As I think about it now, it's a very nice image. <laughs> What's that sound? Okay, you can tell that some of these are elevated. They'll separate the surroundings, but it's good in a way so that you don't actually get... I was about to say you don't actually get completely lost, but I think we've already gone to that stage. Um, not you two. Please remove yourself from my sight. Can somebody get me a guidebook? This place has so much to it, but I think I'm going to find myself a shorter way of... What the... What the heck is that? Well, I'm relieved actually, because we're in a smaller world now. A Skyfield world. It's so pretty. So pretty. What do you guys do? Hmm. There's isometric and square paths. There's a vending machine over there. Good. I wonder if we can get something. I want to find something soon. Is a forest growing there? Hmm. Liz? I want to find an item of th Get out of my way. No, oh, I don't have any money. How do I find money? Can you sit next with me? So can you sit next to me, my friend? No. You're not gonna do that. Oh. Whoa, I just collided without empathy. I'm glad the game did not do anything catastrophic there, but it just allowed it to press on words. Hmm. Anything that I can do. I wish to get an item. But it seems that the developers of this game intended to make it massive. Hmm? Okay, so you, what did that do exactly? Um, there's a door there. Um, okay, so those two things are moving. What are those over there? Bottom. Uh... I wonder if they've got to be the same. Do they mean anything? They both have different effects of sorts. What if it allows you to gain access into one area, but the other time you could not? Oh, okay, so that one changes into that. So I wonder what would happen. Get out of the way with those low tone eyes of yours. <laughs> oh, made of a hella blood, but you are in my way. So let's change it to that and see if there's any sort of environmental changes. I'm not eco, I must say. Hmm. Trees. Trees give. Oh, there's so many panels. Way. There's so many different colours. Okay, we can't access that one. 
access. Are you designed just to be a, a traumatic, dramatic pain? Um. Hello. We just keep venturing into different worlds. But yet, not even a single one will provide us with the comfort that we need. Uh, get well sooner, I, with all those water drops. Uh, this game's definitely got an eye on us. But we have ventured some ways in which I pro Oh my god, you need me but more. And you! Why is a bloodshot? You need water to comfort you. <laughs> I'm so lost. None of these are. Oh, this one's a bit different. And this one. Do you have anything? I don't like floating objects. It makes me want to cry because I can't float as well. Oh, there's something here. Oh, that's just raindrops. Do you need raindrops yourself? Unless I could just specifically eye drops. And we're mistaking it for just water. Oh. I... I don't regret actually opening that up, but I do regret just... Exploring this abyss of nothing. Now there's some words quite specific. Um, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I have missed items, but I don't know where to go. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to say. Don't know what to think. I don't know what to acquire. Thought that was much easier than this. So much to this, but I do not know where to go. Whoa. Now we're in a similar sort of world in which we were enticed by Masma. Whoa, what the heck are you? Okay, so these puddles indicate warp panels. Essentially enough. I am so lost. I got so far. But in the end, we just keep getting lost. <laughs> in the end, we die a horrific, lonely death. It's called getting lost. And the only way to escape it is by waking up. Word I can describe this game is called Gigantic. What is one to do in this situation? Any helping guidances? Everywhere just seems the same. Imagine if a big YouTuber tries to do this. I bet they would just get completely lost and mad about it. Hi. Oh, I remember you. We're somewhere familiar again. <sighs> Let's go back. Do 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 though they're acquainted with it. But still like if it's new. Because I do not know where it is. It's 
go through here again, go back and see if there's any items in the sewing world or in the other, any of the other previous doors which we did not go through and see what we can find in due course I prefer this world it's much smaller and I can see where everything, wait let me hear, okay. Nothing goes to be found here. Nothing to be seen here. Um, we've already been through this room. We came out of this room from the other side. What are we going this way? Is there any mysteries behind? Wait. It seems familiar now. Oh yeah, I've already been this way. I went... Oh yeah, I exited out of this room and went to the right. Let's go left this time. Stairs! Wonderful stairs. The probably represents an asylum or something. Not gonna let me through. Not even if I have some form of blunt weapon to get me through. Now there's three of them. Damn it. Why'd you keep cursing me with these foul odors of mystery and spell? And now there's none. Oh. Wait. Did that just make us loop around? I think it might have done that. Oh, never says so stairs. Oh. Nothing? Wait. Are you sure we can't get anything from this girl? Yeah, we've only got instructions. Any help in this endeavors? Hmm, I wonder what this represents though. I am conflated. Conflated so much that I might die myself. Don't think about that. <laughs> I'm not going to. Not while I still hold my breath in place. Hello? Are you... Oh my god, nothing's given me an item. Damn it. We come all this way for nothing. That's the problem. Don't tell me I'll come all this way for nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. Oh this game is so large. Oh I'm gonna have a heart attack or something. That girl at the top was our best shot of getting an effect item, but we still didn't get anything. We haven't got anything. I can't progress. Maybe just getting acquainted with all the areas will make us familiar where the is. If we can, it is. Because I'm so bloody lost! This is no ordinary game. This game is designed to make you feel tortured. This game is desired so that it may make someone spend weeks on end exploring every single infringement and every single cranny in the existence of Yummy Tuki. Let's say let's put Yummy Graffiti and Yummy Nikki and Dot Flow 
and every other Yummy Nicky game aside this one, and then combine all of them, but you still don't get the length of Yummy Tuki. I'm going on a bit now. There's actually no return point from here to back where we went from, so we're just going to go on our way. But I am still so conflicted as to what we need to do. Do we go... No, there's nothing we can do going back. There really is nothing we can do at this point. Maybe I should... Maybe I should look at this game while I'm off recording. Because maybe I have a better time doing that. Or maybe I should do that only within the areas I've already explored. Because then it doesn't ruin the mystery behind the game. But only the areas which I've explored. Just go back and see what there is of it. Hey. Let's just walk. No way. Walking down just leads to a dead end. It's basically a much larger version of the room we was previously in. And that's what it is. And something tells me that we're not going to get an item on this place. We're just going to keep going around and around in circles to find nothing. And then this game is just going to have us a middle finger. Congratulations. You've spent 20 hours of your life trying to find a single effect item. But guess what? Your effects are in vain. As there are none. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Player. You've played yourself by playing my game. And now you are the very victim of your own... Curiousness. It took me ages to find the right word there. I was about to say consciousness. But I want my consciousness to be somewhere else. In a completed version of this game, to be in fact. Oh, does any of these have anything which I could have? We've not got a single item in this dimension. Or any others. There are 34 of them. So why haven't I got just one? Just one I would be happy with. Oh, we're not going to get that. Dot flow seems so small compared to this now. And I wonder, and I'm not surprised that it's not a complete translation of the game. I mean, look at it, it's massive. It's just everything about it. The size of this game puts all the others to shame when it comes to size of it. Not the quality, just the size. Hmm. Do you need to anywhere? You would notice that there would be a change because the floor changes slightly. In nowhere with this. Uh, it's just so much to it. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. But one thing for certain is that I wouldn't want to be this girl right now. And she's probably telling me, Why the hell are you doing this? This is my dream. I know where everything is, but you dumb player seem to not know what you're doing. You just go round and round in circles because you have no idea what's going on. And in some cases you're right little girl, I don't know what's going on. But one thing for certain is that at some point we will find all 34 items. And it's probably going to take me at least a week to actually put the video together because this game's so massive. And then hopefully, we'll be able to celebrate this moment by saying that we probably played the biggest game that ever brought to Earth within the RPG Maker engine. I'm not complaining. It's just so big! Don't put that into puns, by the way. I do not want to be the pump station, 
pun station of all this controversy. I am not getting anywhere. I'm not finding any items. Everywhere looks the same to me. Uh, we are going nowhere. <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore. I'm just lost. I've swear I've seen you three times already. Can we just see something that we have not seen before? Uh, I have nothing to say right now because this game's just ginormous. Uh, do you know what? I've had enough now. Oh, you pinch your cheeks to wake up. That's a good mechanic. Okay, so folks, we are going to leave it off here today. Aha! Nice way. Uh, puzzle pieces, 6%. Wallpapers, 3%. Current version, 0.101%. Music. Ah, it's got a fan art of the protagonist. Just stop already. Um, how do we go back? Uh, quit. Tools. Picture. Receive new... Uh, turn on. Six of 158 wallpapers. WTF to that. Um, the file blah, 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 will be read. If the file can't be read, the game will. No, we're going to go back. Uh, settings. No, we're going to go. We're just going to go back. TXT. Uh, make something new appear in the dual room. Turn this option off if you deem it unnecessary. Dream World event currently set. Okay, we're just going to leave it on. Window. Uh, nothing. I'm going to leave it default. Leave it default. I'm a boring person. We're leaving everything as default. Okay. So that is my little look at Yummy 2 Key at the moment. We shall explore this at some point within the future, but it is a gigantic game. That was only one door. Probably about like 16 or 20 doors at least for me Nexus. It's gonna take some time to complete this game, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless, and I'm looking forward to complaining just as much. <laughs> about getting lost within the game. And whilst I enjoy complaining, I mean, I really do not enjoy complaining. It's just the fact that this game is so huge, and it's a yummy Nicky fan game. So there's a lot of backstory if you dive into some deep imagination and look at each world that the protagonist explores and see what you can correlate together by looking at that along with some hidden depth information about the game I'm not too sure about myself I'm just rambling on nonsense just to make this go by so thank you very much for watching folks and we shall see each other next time of yummy chuki get lost in within yummy chuki have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves